day 981. Um, just woke up about an hour ago. It's Saturday, I get to sleep in. And um, I was dreaming and all I heard was take heart, take heart, take heart. Like God was telling me, take heart. And uh, I Googled that and there's a Bible verse where um, Jesus is talking and he says, in this world, you'll have a lot of tribulations, but take heart for I've overcome the world. And so I, I knew that, I knew that uh, I had heard take heart before. And so I was like, let me look this up. And so I started like researching it, looking up the Greek and the translations. And, and I, for the last hour, I've been doing a Bible study on that verse and it is so crazy powerful. When I look at like the actual translations, it's basically saying, because Jesus is saying in this world, you'll have tribulations. Well, this world uh, translates as an arrangement or a government. Um, and it says you'll have um, tribulations, which is uh, like suppression or, or not so, suppression, oppression or pressure. And oppression is... Uh, like tyrannical th authority over you, um, like a government. And so in this, in this government of Satan's fallen angels, you're going to have a lot of problems. But take heart, take heart means have courage, but have courage for I have subdued, I have overcome Satan's government. And I'm like, researching this I'm like oh my gosh this is crazy because when you just read it it just says uh in this world you'll have troubles but take heart for I have overcome the world but when I just did that research it really says in this government of Satan's fallen angels you will be oppressed by it but have courage for I have overcome Satan's government of fallen angels. And I was like, what? And then I looked up Ephesians 6, or uh, not Ephesians 6, 12, but um, Luke 10, 19 says, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. And so there's this, there's this government of Satan's fallen angels. Jesus has overcome it, subdued it, taken its power and authority, and he's given it to us. I've given you authority over all the power of the enemy. So I've given you authority over the entire government of Satan's fallen angels. And it's like, we're like, we have as much power as the president does over the government. We have that much power over Satan's government, over Satan's principalities of evil and darkness and fallen angels and demons. But we're walking around like, like, we're, like we're a peasant. Like we have the power of a president, but we're walking around like a peasant crazy so I'm just like laying here like wow this is a good start to my Saturday like dive into a bible study because God gave me a dream and I was like wow that is crazy and I'm just like diving in more research and I was going to write a message to all the warriors of God but then the, the bible study started getting too deep I'm like I gotta teach this and I'm just like wow it's so exciting because our uh Warrior manifesto is this is war, but we are warriors. So we fight and we win. So God says, well done. And just stepping into this like reality, this is war and we're warriors. And I'm here to raise up an army and uh, being able to interpret the Bible from a way of like understanding that this is war and that there's, there's an evil government of fallen angels and Satan's at the top of that. But he's under us because Jesus has given us authority. And he says, you may walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them and not be harmed. So even the, the government of Satan is underneath our feet. Um, we just need to know that we have authority. If a president doesn't know he has authority, he can't do anything. But it's knowing that you have that authority. And that when you speak, things have to change in the spiritual realm. So I'm just like, wow, God, this is so exciting. I could study this stuff just all day. I've like discovered a newfound passion, which is dissecting the word of God and learning. And it just, it's so powerful to be able to shift my perspective. Like, you know, I'd normally just read that Bible verse and it's like, okay, in the world, you're going to have a lot of troubles, but be courageous because I've conquered the world. I've overcome the world. 
I'm like, okay. But diving into it, like in this world, which is actually meaning in this government of Satan's fallen angels in this principality, you are going to be oppressed, but have courage because I have overcome Satan's government of fallen angels. And I've given you authority over this government. You have power over it. That's crazy. That's a whole different perspective where it's like, wow, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And I've uh, researched stuff and, and heard people talk about the spiritual realm. And when it comes to Satan and his demons, it's very much like a government. It's a, it's a hierarchy. Like there's a lot of structure and principalities and, and um, authority and, and all of this stuff. And it works just like a government does, just like a structured government. And so learning that was just like, my whole mind just shifted. So awesome. God is doing so much in my life right now. It's crazy. And I don't, I don't even remember what I was dreaming about. All I remember hearing is take heart, take heart, take heart. And now I have a, a whole thing to teach warriors of God. Um, I was going to text it and I was like, this is way too much. I got to do like, I got to like talk about this for an hour. I got to break this down. So I think I'll do it on our Tuesday call. I have so much, I have so much to give them. Ah, I don't have enough time, even though we do a call an hour every day. And Tuesdays we do an hour in the morning and then two or three hours at night. And then Thursdays we do an hour in the morning and an hour at night. And still not enough. That's yeah, crazy. <laughs>